The Oklahoma Sooners recruiting class took a hit today as top 300 wide receiver Jordan Hudson decommitted, dropping the Sooners outside the top 10, and we have got to talk about it. But before we do, as always, y'all know the drill. I want to hear from y'all. Hop down to the comments, give me a Y for yes or an N for no. And like I said in the intro, given the fact that the Sooners were in the top 10 and now outside, do you believe that this will be a short stay outside the top 10? And let me know what you're thinking there. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification, because I do constant college football content, and you don't want to miss any of it. And if you enjoy that content, Content, be sure to like, comment down below because those interactions are massive to content creators such as myself. And we're going to keep this short, but it is never a good day to lose a top 300 recruit, specifically one with the upside of Jordan Hudson. Now, the Oklahoma Sooners are in a position where they can at least breathe somewhat easy, looking in the class, realizing that they have the number one wide receiver in the nation, Luther Burden, still a part of this class, who we just talked about the other day, absolutely shining at the future 50 Under Armour event. Now, Luther Burden is a key, key piece to this Oklahoma Sooners class, and even more key now that Jordan Hudson is not a part of this class. So what does this mean for the Sooners now that Hudson has decommitted? Well, the bad news is, is you just lost out on a top 300 prospect with, like I said, a really high ceiling. That's never an easy thing to have. That's never an easy pill to swallow. The, uh, the upside of that, however, is one, like I said, you do have Luther Burden, and two, this is still very early on into the process. There's a long way to go in this class, and the biggest event for the Oklahoma Sooners is still yet to come. That right there should give the Sooners fans a ton of reason for upside. The other thing I think Sooners fans need to feel very good at is if we look at the top 10 recruiting classes in the nation right now, Oklahoma's in a position where they were ranked very highly relative to other classes in the top 10 without having the same amount of numbers in the class relative to those other classes. The Oklahoma Sooners are a class sitting inside the top 10 with less than double-digit numbers a part of that class. That right there was already fantastic work. So dropping outside the top 10, though it is a hit, should be a hit that is short-lived. With Champ U Barbecue coming up with all the fantastic recruits looking to be on campus that weekend, and with Oklahoma and Lincoln Riley being so active in recruiting so many top-level prospects, I can't imagine that that stay outside the top 10 recruiting classes will be anything but short-lived. The Sooners are generating so much excitement on the trail that it's going to be very hard to keep them outside the top 10, especially when you look inside the top 10 and you see programs such as Rutgers who are doing very well right now, but you'd have to believe that the Oklahoma Sooners are an institution in a much better position to recruit and recruit incredibly high value players more so than Rutgers. This is a hit to the Sooners. There really is no way to look around that. But the Sooners are in a position where they are uniquely able to take a hit like this and be able to take it in stride. They can continue to recruit at a high level. Lincoln Riley generates a ton of hype, and rightfully so, especially with the offensive positions. And with the massive, massive events still to come, the Oklahoma Sooners are going to be just fine. But let me know what you're thinking down in the comments. That's it. See ya.